Hi guys, it's France. Welcome to this mixed media shorty number nine. I cut out a tag of cardboard and I'm attaching some pieces of string so that I can create a grid in the modeling paste that I will be applying in a second. I'm using deco art modeling paste to create my first layer. I'm trying to have it thick enough to really um, show that there's texture going on, but I also want it to be quite smooth as I still have a lot of layers to apply on top of it. This layer and the next couple of layers took quite some time to dry and I couldn't dry them with my heat gun without altering them. Now I have a couple of big projects coming up which are requiring a lot of computer work, a lot of paperwork and a lot of planning. So it was actually quite fun to have uh, one layer to apply then heading back to the computer or my paperwork the time that this would dry and then come back to it for the next fun layer. So even if the video is only 16 minutes long, it took me almost an hour and 45 minutes to get this one tag done. And before the modeling paste can dry, I'm taking away the pieces of string so that I can have this grid that I wanted to have. And on top, little bonus, it picked up the texture of the string as well. I wanted to make sure that nothing would happen to, the, to this first layer, so I applied a thin layer of matte medium and quickly set it with my heat gun. I want all kind of different textures going on on this tag. So I'm applying a first medium to create a first contrast and I'm going in with regular gesso just here and there in some areas. And now I'm filling up the rest of the open spaces with crackle paint and I'm not trying to get a smooth something. So I want crack, cracks and I also want um, irregularity in that paste. And like I said, no heat gun for this one as I really want to have some beautiful cracks. For the next kind of texture, I'm going in with fluid acrylic and this is a metallic one, which I'm applying in a quite thick layer and immediately going in with my heat gun to overheat it. I'm actually cooking it on the surface, which will make it bubble as you can see. I'm doing this only on the gesso so that I keep the cracks visible in the crackle paint.
And to add some more color, I'm going in with Fluid Acrylic. And first I thought I could do it with my finger, but I had so much texture in that golden paint that I didn't need a paintbrush to get the color all the way into all the creases and openings. And now that it's painted and dried, I want to bring back some of that paste, all that paste that I have underneath to the surface. So I'm softening down um, some of the paint that I have on the surface. Before moving in with the next product, I have to make sure that I have no moisture left from my baby wipe. And I also want to bring back the texture from the metallic paint. By reheating it, I'm just bringing all the bubbles back to the surface. And now I'm applying a layer of antiquing cream. So I'm applying quite a thick layer again over the whole tag. And then I'm drying it with my heat gun. Using a damp cloth, I am now wiping away some of that antiquing cream so that I can bring the texture back to the surface and the antiquing cream will allow me to enhance the texture that I have going on. The antiquing cream needs a fixative because if I go back in with moisture it will move again. So I'm applying a layer, a thin layer of ultra matte varnish to make sure that my antiquing cream will not move anymore despite whatever it is I might do to the tag now. I am mixing up some quinacridone gold with gold metallic fluid acrylic and I'm adding some matte medium to it as well to make sure that it will not run all over the tag because I do want to create um, a bit of a running material without having it spreading all over the tag. 
Now, if you want to know all the details of the colors and products that I've used, you will find the complete list of ingredients on my website and the link is in the description of the video. And then again, I'm really heating it up to bring out some um, bubbles back again to the surface. And as I have some gold paint, some gold metallic paint in my mixture here, it does react to the heat as well by bubbling up. The final touch to the texture is this metallic luster that I'm applying in a really really thin layer only on the erased parts of the texture and that will make the whole thing come together and will actually accentuate all the texture that I have going on. As the texture is the hero, if I can say it that way, from this tag, I wanted to keep my embellishments as simple as possible to cover as little as possible of the background. So I'm just applying a couple of washers and brads and a paper clip and that's it. Of course, last minute I had to change my mind and add a little word, uh, which might have been easier if I had applied it before the paperclip, but so be it. 
That's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and see you back next time. Ta-da!